have you noticed lately that your system just isn't running quite as well as it normally should? In games, you're getting a couple of micro stutters, it, your game just runs a little bit more sluggishly and it just doesn't seem to be as it should at its optimally best. That's what I'm going to be addressing in today's video. I'm just going to go through a couple of things that you got and double check just to get your system up to speed again because you might find that Windows Update is running in the background and it's done an update and it's changed a couple of settings or alternatively GeForce Experience updated your system with a new graphics driver and in so doing reset all your settings and automatically change all the settings in game. That's what we're going to be doing today. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, so the first thing that we're going to double check is GeForce Experience. Because GeForce Experience has got a nasty habit of automatically downloading a new driver, installing it, and then optimizing all your in-game settings so that next time you boot up a game, you don't even know that you've got a new driver and you don't know that your settings are different and it just feels different and it doesn't feel quite right. So what I want you to do is open up GeForce Experience wherever you got it up, uh, installed. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Settings. Unless you're recording gameplay guys, you really don't need the in-game overlay on. So make sure the in-game overlay is off if you do not record gameplay. This is going to net you a couple of FPS. Make sure that battery boost is off. It's a power saving feature. And unless you're gaming and you shouldn't be gaming without uh, your power cord, just leave battery boost off. And then desktop notifications. Switch uh, or untick. G, uh, GeForce driver updates and then reward is available. You want to be doing things manually. You don't want GeForce experience to be doing things on your behalf. Uh, you can really tank performance like that. And then in account there's nothing to do. Games and apps. Just make sure you yeah, under optimal playable settings automatically optimize newly added games and applications is disabled. So this is GeForce experience. Just put these settings in and just double check the GeForce experience hasn't changed things for you. That's step number one. So the second thing that you want to double check is the NVIDIA control panel. Whether you did a manual driver update or GeForce experience automatically updated your driver in the background, whenever you do a driver update, the NVIDIA control panel, the settings are going to be reset. So you have to input these settings every time you do a driver update. So just go through or uh, right click on the desktop go to NVIDIA control panel and guys you don't have to use the same settings as me I'm just going to show you the settings that work best for me so on the desktop uh, untick show notification tray, tray icon and then I enable developer settings and then adjust image settings I just make sure it's on performance and then once it's on performance it's going to set all these settings to its lowest variable for the best performance then what i do is i change low latency mode to ultra open gl gdr compatibility i put on prefer performance open gl rendering gpu set it to your gpu of your laptop and then power management mode make sure it's set to prefer maximum performance I need to do a video on this, but um, I actually find that shader cache size works better on one gig. Uh, texture filtering, you can just leave it on a lot. I put it on clamp because it improves my picture quality a little bit and it doesn't uh, affect performance I find. Texture filtering, I put it on high performance. And then just lastly, thread optimization, just make sure that's on. So just make, uh, Every time you do a driver update, you have to update your settings in the NVIDIA control panel. If you don't do this, you're going to be leaving performance on the table. Right guys, the next thing that you want to do is, in, if you don't have it, uh, just download a program called the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And once you've got that downloaded, um, just go ahead and open it up. I've got it saved over here. So just go ahead and open that up. And then just wait for it to load at the bottom here. Now, people say you must change various things for performance boost. In my research and findings, 
I find that the only thing that actually does uh, improve performance is uh, setting Ansel to disallowed. So just switch off Ansel here. So you just go over here and Ansel is going to be allow allowed. So all you're going to do is put Ansel allow to disallow. And once you got that selected, just hit apply. I'll, I'll put a link to where you can download NVIDIA Profile Inspector in the description of the video. Right, the next thing that we're going to be doing is just pausing Windows Update. So just go to the, micro, uh, the Windows Key uh, Settings, Update and Security, and then Windows Update. Just click on this, just make sure it's grayed out. You can click on it, I think it's about five or six times, then it goes grayed out. Because Windows Update running in the background, it's going to interfere, especially if you're playing online games, it's going to take away a little bit of your performance. So just go ahead and, and pause updates and then maybe once a week or every second week, just go resume updates, just make sure all the, just let all the updates run. Once that's done, go ahead and pause the updates until it grays out again. Um, it really makes a difference if you're playing online battle games. In single player games, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but this is a must for online gaming. For the time being, after doing a driver update, if you double check those things, you should be able to improve performance again to where it was prior to doing a driver update. In the interim, what I'll do is I'll link in the description a video to how to set any game to high performance. So automatically your game is going to be running in a high performance as well as a very neat video on how to set the Bitsum highest performance power plan as your stock standard power plan because obviously Windows changed a couple of things you can't load ultimate performance anymore so Bitsum is a very nice alternative to that but as I mentioned they'll be in the description of this video but guys that's the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed if you didn't enjoy be sure to smash the like button if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. If you're still watching, if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to do so. Other than that, have a fantastic day. It's people like you. Cheers.